Tinker Nerds, howdy. This is the comment show for my how to make a smart watch from an old cell phone part one video. You can click here if you haven't seen it. So lately I've been putting funny, witty, random comments at the beginning of my videos, and this time I'm gonna choose one completely by random. This should be good. So this one is from Jack Sutcliffe. He says, please don't put this at the beginning of the comment show. Just get on with the actual comments and stop wasting my time. Okay. I tried to find the video length at 404. And I can ask Muffin47, here's your award for the nerdiest comment that I read. And while I'm giving out awards, which I'm not really giving out awards, the award for funniest comment thread goes to Good Bean's Let's Practice Counting thread. That one had me LOL several times, which is difficult to do because I'm afraid of my own laugh. <laughs> can we use some kind of OLED or color display? It is possible to use a color LCD screen with an Arduino, but it requires a lot more external components to drive it, and therefore it would be a lot more work. Alternatively, they do offer color LCD screens for sale for the Arduino that you can use for a smartwatch, but it would be really bulky, even bulkier than the one I'm trying to make. What's the name of the background music? It's called... It's called Coco Butter Kisses by Chance the Rapper. All right, we'll go with that. One of those impractical things you will never do yourself, but really cool and fun to watch. I find 99% of the projects that I do out of sheer curiosity to be impractical. That is, if you consider gaining knowledge and understanding impractical. Oh, burn! It'd be brilliant if you made it work from a Pi Zero. A Pi Zero would definitely be cool and have a lot more capabilities over the Arduino, but it's still a bit large for a smartwatch. Maybe if you wanted to make a Pip Boy. Now there's an idea. You killed me when I saw part one. Why do you do this? First and foremost, that's honestly as far as I was able to get with a week's worth of work. And the coding section has taken such a long time that I might have to extend this series across three different parts. The second added benefit is it gets a lot more people to subscribe. I'm a terrible person. All right, everyone, thanks again for all the comments. Part two will be out next Friday. So I will see you all then.